I'm Anil Kumar and I have taken a couple of examples from the book on quadratic equations problem solving. The question here is, the product of two consecutive numbers is 3306. What are the numbers? Now, when we are saying consecutive numbers, that means the numbers which come together, like 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So let's first define our variables to represent consecutive numbers. So we say, let the numbers be x and if they are consecutive, the other number will be just one more than x. So the other number will be x plus 1. Now the question is, the product of two consecutive numbers is 3306. That means x times x plus 1 is equal to 3306. So that is how you get your equation. Now this is a quadratic equation which you can expand, right? So it, x squared plus x equals to 3306. Bring the terms together, x squared plus x minus 3306 equals to 0. And then you can find the solution for this equation. Now since the two numbers are very close, we can approximately get the solution by finding square root of 3306. So if I do square root of 3306, what I get is a number 57.49. So that kind of gives us a hint that the answer could be 57 and 58, right? Since square root is kind of like that. So that is kind of a hint for you to get the answer. Now the idea is how to get the answer otherwise. So now the technique is you could either factor. Now since we know that by square rooting that these two numbers when multiplied gives you 3306 and we need difference or sum of these numbers as plus 1. That means we can take the bigger number as positive and the smaller number as negative. So I can actually factor this and I can write this as x minus 57 times x plus 58. Do you see that? Now once you factor, you know it has two solutions. x could be 57 or x could be minus 58, right? Now we need to write the answer properly. It says product of two consecutive numbers is 3306. Now what are the numbers? The numbers could be both negative or both positive, right? So our answer is, we have two sets of answers here. The one is, if x is 57, then the numbers are 57 and 57 plus 1, which is 58. But if x is minus 58, then the numbers are minus 58 and minus 57. So we actually get two sets of numbers. And this is for my students to understand that in this question, we are not saying integers or anything, nor are we saying natural numbers. So you should actually report both the answer. That's the idea, right? Now those of you for whom like we just factored using this technique, so that gave us a hint that which two numbers to take so that we get product as equal to 3306 with a negative sign, correct? And sum as one. So that's a good technique, just to square root and then do it. Or uh, for others who know the quadratic formula, they can actually apply the quadratic formula and then find the answer, right? So, but I hope this square root technique is a very good technique to apply and share. I hope that helps. All the best. Thank you.